in Texas to head on out to Miami, Florida to be the police chief out here. But I do want to get an update on another major story of the day that we've been following here on News Now from Fox. The man accused of killing eight people, injuring one at a massage parlor at and two spas in the metro Atlanta area has been arrested. Joining us live right now is Fox 5 Atlanta's Mark Teichner to talk to us about uh, the latest in the investigation. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Yeah, certainly an unthinkable crime. And as you can imagine, uh, even though this is a big city, a lot of grieving folks uh, here in Atlanta metro area. We're standing in front of the Gold uh, Spa. This is one of the three spas that these shootings took place at. Inside the building you're looking at, three different women, all described as Asian, lost their lives. Just across the street, there's another spot called Aromatherapy, where another Asian woman was also uh, gunned down as a result of all of this. But it actually began about 30 or so miles northwest of here in suburban uh, Cherokee County. Uh, according to deputies in Cherokee County, just before 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon, 21-year-old man by the name of Robert long walked into the young's asian massage parlor and opened fire five people ended up getting shot there three of them died at the scene one more tragically lost their life at the hospital uh, there is one survivor from that shooting now up in the cherokee county shooting two of the women who died were described as asian one a white woman and a white male uh, the survivor is a hispanic man after that shooting, investigators say Long drove down here to uh, inside the city limits of Atlanta and opened fire at these two spas across the street from each other. In fact, Atlanta police showed up at the first spa for a robbery. They found the three women inside. That's when they heard about the other shooting across the street and discovered uh, the body over there as well. Uh, Long then allegedly fled the area heading south. Uh, authorities were able to pretty quickly identify who he was. They had some surveillance video from the Cherokee County crime scene. Uh, they put out a picture of him as well as his dark colored Hyundai Tucson. Uh, they ended up catching up with that vehicle about 150 miles south of Atlanta in Crisp County. Deputies and Georgia State troopers tried to pull him over. Uh, the trooper ended up performing a pit maneuver on his vehicle, caused him to stop. They then arrested him. He now sits in jail. Of course, the big question is why something like this would happen. What was the motive for this particular crime? You can imagine, given the fact that a majority of the victims are Asian, uh, that authorities are looking into could this be racially motivated? They say it's simply too early to know that. Uh, they're going to take a look, as you can imagine, at his social media, uh, hit, talk to a number of people who know him to see if that could be the situation. They do have two witnesses from the Cherokee County shooting. They're hoping could also shed some light as to what happened. We can tell you that President Biden has been briefed on what has happened here in Atlanta and is talking and keeping abreast on the situation uh, by briefings from the FBI. Uh, that is the latest from here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Mark Teichner for Fox News Now. All right, Mark, thank you so much for joining us here live on News Now from Fox. Take care. Sure. Taking a live look now, everybody, at St. Patrick's Cathedral.